In this video we're going to have a look at movement and how you can get things to move around in your program. So uh, I'm just using the cat but this will work with any sprite. And I'm just going to move the cat over to the left hand side to give him more room to move about. I'm also going to make him a bit smaller so we can use these buttons at the top. Uh, if the arrows point inwards that shrinks the sprite so let's shrink him down a bit give him more room to uh, to run about. So when you create motion, the motion tiles are in the blue section, but I'm going to pick one from the um, brown section just to start my program off. So I'm going to start my program when I click on the flag, and then I'm going to go back to the motion section. So uh, various ways in which you can get things to move. So you can move um, a number of steps, and if we do that, then uh, it moves in the, the sprite moves in the direction that it's facing. So at the moment, if I move 100, um, it'll move to the right because that's the way the cat's facing. If I turn the cat um, using the turn tile and move forward, he'll move up and to the right because that's the way he's facing. You can, you can also get the cat to point in a particular direction. So if you want him to face rightwards again, you can use this tile here, point in direction and you can choose a direction so it's a bit like points of the compass where zero is at the top uh, and it goes round um, you can go either way actually so it, although it says minus 90 is left um, 270 degrees is also left um, so you can point right again or you can point towards a particular thing so at the moment uh, the cat is the only sprite but you can point towards other sprites as well if you want to um, you can also use x and y coordinates so if you want to move the cat uh, back to the middle for example uh, you can use 0, 0, so x goes across and y goes up and down, but 0 is in the middle, so uh, negative values of x will take you to the left, and negative values of y uh, will take you uh, downwards, and also you can glide into position, or you can change an, the x and the y coordinates uh, individually, you can either set them to a value, or you can um, adjust them by a certain amount. So changing the x by 10 uh, will add 10. So if you want to take 10 away, you just need to put minus 10 in the box. So changing x by 10 will just move him right a little bit. Um, but it, it won't matter which way he's facing. So if you always want them to move in a particular direction, regardless of which way they're facing, and then that's the way to go. But uh, just now we'll have a look at uh, moving and possibly turning. So if we want to move the cat all the way across the screen from left to right, uh, first of all we need to work out how far that is. So clicking move 10, 10 isn't very far at all, so we need to work out really how far it is all the way across. So uh, you can do that by trial and error. One of the good things about using a computer is um, you can just quite quickly try things and um, see whether they work. So 400 seems about right, but you could arrive there um, you know, a bit more slowly than that. I know from experience that maybe maybe a little bit more than that, maybe 410, see what that does. Yeah, 410 is pretty much all the way. So what we could do in our program is if we wanted the cat to move from left to right, is just move 410 steps. So if you run that, he moves from left to right, but not in a particularly um, realistic or convincing way, he just kind of jumps um, from left to right. You can also um, use the glide. So if you if you use this tile glide, um, then um, it'll move more slowly. Um, anything that uses x and y coordinates, if you position it um, in the place where you want it to end up, um, it will put the numbers in there for you. So if I put the cat where I want it to end, and then move that uh, to there, then it'll put the numbers in for me. So now if I move the cat over to the left hand side and I run that program, uh, what we'll see is the cat will glide into position. However, I don't like uh, using glide because, because it's effectively one step, although it takes a while, um, it doesn't allow you to do anything else at the same time. So what I prefer to do is break the motion down into a series of steps. So for example, rather than moving 410 steps all in one go, what you can do is uh, re repeatedly move a, a smaller number of steps. So for example, well just to make the maths easier, if I say repeat uh, 41, move 10, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this repeat tile from the control section and I'm going to move 10 steps. So 41 lots of 10 is 410, so that's the same uh, distance. So if I run that now, 
you get a similar effect to um, using the glide except you can do other things after each step so for example if I want to speed the cat up or slow the cat down I can do other things or if I want to make the cat look like it's walking I can do other things now I keep having to drag the cat back over to the left hand side so a better thing to do would be to go to the motion uh, section and actually position him at the start of my program so I've got this go to X Y tile it's, it's filled the numbers in for me so if I stick that back uh, in, in at the top of my program I won't have to move him back uh, to the start every time so now if I run my program it'll move from left to right but if I run it again it'll start back on the left hand side so repeated small movements uh, give the appearance of motion you can adjust the speed by uh, the size and the number of steps so if I wanted him to go faster I could do fewer larger steps if I wanted a slower smoother motion I could do more smaller steps what I can also do in the control section is um, wait so if I want the cat to slow down I can just wait a small amount of time after each step it doesn't have to be a whole number actually I can just wait uh, 0.2 seconds for example if I wanted to and if I run that program now he'll move uh, over the cat will move as a se in a series of steps and as I said the benefit of doing it this way rather than gliding is that you can do things like this so if you want the cat to look like he's walking uh, remember in the first video we looked at different costumes so the cat has two costumes with the legs in different positions so if we want to animate him and look like he's walking what we can do is we can just swap between the costumes uh, each time uh, he takes a step so there's a tile here that says next costume so if we slot that in as well when we run the program now his legs will move uh, as he's walking across